the glory which surrounds the ascended Lord, should breathe hope into every believer's breast. Jesus is no mean person. He is a Savior and a Great One. He is the crowned and enthroned Redeemer of men. The sovereign prerogative of life and death is vested in Him. The Father has put all men under the mediatorial government of the Son, so that He can quicken whom He will. He openeth, and no man shutteth. At His word, the soul which is bound by the cords of sin and condemnation can be unloosed in a moment. He stretches out the silver scepter, and whosoever touches it lives. It is well for us that as sin lives, and the flesh lives, and the devil lives, so Jesus lives. And it is also well that whatever might these may have to ruin us, Jesus has still greater power to save us. All his exaltation and ability are on our account. He is exalted to be and exalted to give. He is exalted to be a prince and a savior, that he may give all that is needed to accomplish the salvation of all who come under his rule. Jesus has nothing which he will not use for a sinner's salvation and he is nothing which he will not display in the aboundings of his grace. He links his princedom with his saviorship, as if he would not have the one without the other, and he sets forth his exaltation as designed to bring blessings to men, as if this were the flower and crown of his glory. Could anything be more calculated to raise the hopes of seeking sinners who are looking Christward? Amen.